What's going on guys, it's Sap, and today we are going to be going over the Wings of Sacred Dawn build. Now, why am I trying to push this exotic so much? Well, if there's a big map, it's been incredibly fun. I'm going to show it off in Rumble, me being a little more aggressive with it, but from a distance, this thing is crazy fun. So, for those of you that don't know what Wings of Sacred Dawn do already, when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while your midair suspends you there for a short time, improve airborne accuracy, reduce incoming flinch, grants damage resistance, and weapon hits extend the effect's duration. So, what do you want to use Wings of Sacred Dawn with? Well, you want to use it with Bottom Tree Dawn. Bottom Tree Dawn got a pretty big buff this season, and it has been a ludicrous amount of fun for me. Stay away from Top Tree Dawn, sinners. Now, Bottom Tree Dawn has Phoenix Dive. Phoenix Dive is when you activate it while mid-air, you quickly descend and restore your health. It is literally a healing Shatter Dive. It is ludicrously fun. And if you use it while in your super, it is literally a Shatter Dive. It causes a massive explosion and gives you back super energy. It's really fun to light everybody on fire, and you're going to win a whole lot more of your ones because you're going to throw people off being extended in the air. You're going to throw people off because you're going to have damage resistance, which is going to make it so that people have to four tap you with hand cannons. It's going to throw people off because they can't flinch you. It is amazing. I used it on Bannerfall with Messenger, and I was lasering people. Guys, let me show you a clip real quick. My Riz is safer on the corner. Well, I got six seconds. Just fight together. Hot. It's crazy fun. Please give it a shot if you haven't already. It is it is the move. I'm going to show you a gameplay. And uh, it's, I, I promise, it's, it's way more fun if you guys haven't already given it a shot. It, what I call it meta, maybe not yet. But for the big maps, definitely insanely viable. And uh, yeah, if if you guys are getting bored of the game, you just want to try something out, highly recommend this one. Let's get into a game. All right, looks like we got a game of Jav 4. Went ahead and swapped over to the Chaperone and Palindrome just because don't particularly uh, think the multi mock was working out. We got a couple of gigantic maps, so... It was just our luck that we'd get another one. Uh, what are you doing there? Oh, accuracy's a little tough. Long time in between games. Matchmaking is extensive. Come on back. There we go. Hitting the three skis. See if we can go ahead and use wings for this. Now the thing is, is it's almost always going to get you first shot the second you learn how to use it. There's a guy behind me. Let's go ahead and just rush this gent down. Because they're always going to be looking at ground and then maybe every once in a while flick up to the sky. They're never going to expect you to be in the sky consistently. It also gets you some new angles, which is super nice. For my hunter mains out there, it plays very similar to the way that we play hunter. Get out of the sky for that one. Take our health. Need that. Oof, that almost went really badly. Um, and then we died anyways because of the vortex, but that's all right. Some people just go for the trades. Not a whole lot you can do about that. Let's float on over. We missed the last shot, I guess. Get our health back. No way that both are just going to continue fighting us. Right. Wait. What? Why did we die? I had that all planned out. <laughs> okay, so if you don't get a uh, hit for 300 damage by a flux grenade, which only hits for like 150, then you're chilling right there. This guy the entire time thought we were going to fall. We didn't. The angles that you can pull off. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and get our health. Sneak on over here. The double team. 
I get why uh, Rumble drives people nuts. I really do. A lot of people have been in my comments saying like, hey, you know, uh, I don't know how you play so much Rumble. I, I don't. And I'm like, oh, no, it's, it's great because it teaches you how to play with like super weird scenarios and it's good. And then I get some games and I'm like, ah, oh, no, I get it. That's the guy I was just fighting outside. He's using a bow and a sniper. Oh, he's, he's here to drive us nuts. That's what he's here for. The tracking on bottom tree makes the uh, the blades basically free, which is super nice. Let's go ahead and get our damage resistance going on this corner. Inner accuracy showing off with the slugs. No, that should have been a three tap. It was beautiful. Oh, having a nice long range weapon really helps out with it as well. Let's you play around a little more. Let's go ahead and get away from the uh, Tychus. You thought we were going to be low. We weren't. Get the health back. Moira's there to clean us up again. This guy's literally the janitor of the lobby. I like it. Made it so that he couldn't get that headshot. Nice, nice. Go ahead and challenge the other kill leader. Make sure that uh we're not getting finessed here. He's running away from us. I can't say that's what I thought was going to happen. But we were able to clean it up, thankfully. I think that's what it comes down to, is people just aren't used to people being in the air, so it throws them off so badly. It's it's really just a unique way of playing, and I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. It's crazy fun just to throw people off. Um, if you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a comment below, and uh, maybe drop a sub as well. I'm telling you, the Wings of Sacred Dawn meta is coming, and uh, it, any big map, you can absolutely mow down people, especially for trials where you're going for things like picks for your team. Uh, Rumble, it's a little awkward. Uh, they definitely could have played a little better than a couple of those scenarios, but I highly recommend that you guys give it a shot. Regardless, it's, it's really fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, remember... Sometimes creativity is uh, is the only way that uh, we can keep playing this game. You know, the meta gets stale after a while. So I will hopefully have some new stuff to show you guys soon. Much love.